my C spine. It's a complete C spine. I'm going to grab an 8x10. I'm doing the lateral first. I'm going to set my technique here for a cervical lateral. And then go ahead and put my film in my bucky. Maybe a vertical. Tube over. It's supposed to be at 72 inches. Go ahead and detent that. Throw my marker on here. I'm going to put it in front just so I won't have to move it later on. And I'll go grab my patient. Is there any possibility that you're pregnant? No. Okay, go ahead and stand there. And what's your birthday? 930 Okay, and your doctor? Dr. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have you go ahead and put your left shoulder against the board there. Okay. okay. And I see you took your, your hair tie out. And you don't have any earrings in your necklace? No. Okay. Still there. Move my shield in here. Can you hold these sand packs for me? It's just going to drop your shoulders down. Perfect. Okay. In the center of the middle. And x ray. Grab my fill mount and run it under a lateral C spine. Let's see where I put my other thing. Grab another 8x10. Okay, I'm going to have you go ahead and put your back against the board. Right there, good. Move my tube into 40 inches and put an angle on it. Okay, well, it's still there. Go ahead and put your chin up for me. And x ray. Run this under an APC spine. Grab a new film, it's going to be another 8x10. Put that in the vertical. Once again, I'm centering it at a C4. Okay. Hold still there. Set my technique to a oblique C spine. 
is 75 to 25. And x-ray. Yeah, you can relax. That was the right oblique. I'm going to run it as a right oblique. Grab a new film. Okay, so we're going to do these. Alright, once again I'm at C4. This is looking for the intervertebral forehand. My marker's in the correct spot. Hold still there. Put your chin up for me. A little bit more. Right there. And x-ray. Okay. I'm going to move her out of a 45 degree angle from the obliques. Okay, go ahead and push her back against the board. My two up. Close your eyes for me. You can open them. Take a small step to the left. There, okay. Put your chin up slightly. Right about there. Make sure my marker's in the right spot. Open your mouth for me. Okay. Okay, open your mouth real nice and wide. As wide as you can. Hold still. And extra. Here's the evaluation criteria for a C-spine. Right here, as you can see, we did the lateral. And on the lateral, we want to see all seven vertebra. Um, and the mandible is not overlapping C1 and C2. Uh, and here it's, it's getting close. but um, The mandible is also superimposed. Both, the, both sides of it should be fairly superimposed, not exactly. Uh, we want C4 in the center, and we want to see all the zygopophyseal joints, um, and we also want to see the three C's, which are the C in front of the bodies, the C at the zygopophyseal joints, and the C at the bottom, at the back of the spinous processes. And then we'll move over to the APC spine. Uh, for the APC spine, we want to see from C3 to, to T2 is what we want to see, but um, it would be better if you could see C2 also. Uh, also, the mandible is superimposed over C1 and C2. Uh, there's all the open disc spaces here. We've got spinous processes equidistant to the pedicles. So, as you can see there. Um, we also have mandibular angles equidistant to the spine. So these guys here should be equidistant. And it looks like they are. For the odontoid, we want to see the lateral masses here, that's the main thing, and these make sure the distance between C1 and C2, that space right there is open. We also want to see um, the superimposed teeth right here over the back of the base of the skull. Make sure their mouth is open nice and wide and there's no tongue. Uh, we also want to see the, the mandibular rami uh, equidistant from the dens. So right there, equidistant. Okay. Now we'll move to the obliques. Uh, for the oblique, we want to see open intervertebral foramina. On here, it's not a very good image because of the dummy. But we also want to see open disc spaces and make sure that the chin is elevated. Um, the occipital bone should not be over C1. Um, and we want to see all seven vertebrae and T1. So.